Good morning, folks. We're going right to spaceweathernews.com because it's a space weather news kind of day. The Earth-directed filament gave me a bit of a scare yesterday. That jitterbug move he pulled had my eyes firmly set, waiting for eruption and release. But it didn't happen. Instead, evidence of filamentary interconnectedness across our star presents as the southeastern filament released at the limb, destabilized perfectly on cue when the central filament did, decided that he'd be the one to go so the central filament didn't have to square off with the Earth-facing solar quiet. Scare averted. Earth-facing element restabilized. And speaking of the Earth-facing quiet, flaring stays on the low end, and even the smaller C pops are over at the left side at the limb, where the new spots don't yet know any better. Let's come and actually analyze the spots. That central grouping has managed to keep some sizes grouped south of him have decayed, but it is still magnetically split with no interaction. Spots at the limb up north are small, but may already have delta-class magnetism there. Southern spots are even smaller and more spread out. Looking at the solar wind brings today's top story. In blue, we see a phi angle shift. It's a flip of the magnetic character of the heliospheric solar wind current sheet. What brought it on was an ultra-dense wave of plasma that may actually be the edge of a co-rotating area between solar coronal sectors. The solar wind was average to above average density already, and a 5 to 10x increase in density swept by. The stream was only of average speed, but down in green we see that it was ultra hot as a 50 to 100x increase in kinetic energy was presented. The BZ tip north, so there are no global magnetic storms. But isolated and localized disruptions within the recently unstable global field are occurring as shown at Corona. Magnetometer showing X component flux with the K index hitting 7 and with the Q index hitting 8, level 4 magnetic storms. We will have to see if that translates to global instability today. A quick note from yesterday, Alaska took that large earthquake which the USGS upgraded to 7.1, caused a house to explode actually, but most of you know that we are in an earthquake watch period. After seven days of utter lithospheric quiet were shattered with Mexico ringing on the 21st, Alaska rang yesterday on the 24th, and that's just the start. But before we go to the other two lithospheric disruptions, I need to correct a mistake I made on this past week's Fly on the Wall. When describing the uptick in earthquakes that we were expecting during this time, we said every factor was a big yes except for the planetary geometry. Well folks, I forgot that the full moon was yesterday, and while not considered one of the major alignments, it has been shown to have effects on seismicity. So. Perhaps it was all the factors. Moving on, it turns out that during the apparent lull between quakes in Mexico and Alaska, there was no lull as Popocatépetl erupted in Mexico. Evacuations are being considered as this is one of its biggest burps in a while. And so after a week of general quiet on Earth without many earthquake factors, that situation changed both above and below. Mexico with an earthquake and volcanic eruption, Alaska with the large rumble yesterday, and now one of the rarer events you're going to see ever, a swarm and six-pointer in northwestern Africa. Definitely not your usual location there. For some further reading, please see the linked article running down all the snow records just set by Jonas, out from which the U.S. Northeast is just now starting to dig. It is the final week before observing the frontier. If you're attending, please check the schedule and make sure you're there bright and early Saturday morning to register, pick up your stuff, and find a seat. Head over to the site page to know the full schedule and hopefully you're planning to join the friendly interaction side of the event on Saturday night. We've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 6 15 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe everyone.